okay in this video i would be continuing with the five factors but before i do that i would like to classify the electronic uh, commerce by the nature of the transactions and relationships okay because the nature of transactions and relationship will affect the way the five factors mentioned before will interact with each other so we have a b2b the famous all famous b2b terminology here business to business business to consumer e-tailing okay and there are more but these are the main ones business to business e-commerce model in which all of the participants are businesses or other organizations okay for example <clears throat> we you have a tailor shop and you not only tailor dresses but you also supply them you know uh, overseas for example and for that you would take you have an electronic commerce presence okay and you have a nice website in which you take in measurements of the dresses okay women men everywhere so you have this wizard created okay <clears throat> and in this wizard you and in this wizard you ask for measurements for you know waist size you know chest size shoulder length and uh, sleeves and everything all these sizes you have to the the person provides the size of these um, uh, you know these elements and you take in those uh, sizes and based on those sizes you create a dress okay a dress or a suit or whatever is needed and once you're done with it you ship that dress to the location of the customer okay you are a business and you talk to another local business the shipping company that will ship your uh, product or your service out at the doorstep of the customer so you are a business and you have a partnership with the shipping company and it's this partnership is known as b2b to b to b business to business transaction believe me with the very few businesses need other businesses to survive so we are all here to help each other out as businesses so that we can make our own profits our own return and uh, you know this is the most basic transaction between any business that, that and that transaction is called b2b business to business then you have business to consumer an e-commerce model in which businesses sell to individual shoppers okay so whenever you are trying to describe a business model okay from a business model perspective you have to try to talk about what kind of you know uh, what kind of model they have is it a b2b it's a b2c or it's an e-tailing so all of these you have to apply whatever you have to apply whatever fits in their description okay for example this tailoring business fashion tailoring business the model also includes business to consumer because i've ordered something and you're going to stitch it from your shop somewhere else in the world and then you're going to send it to me okay and then you have an e-tailing it's an online retailing it's usually business to consumer we talked about that when i showed you the amazon.com website here and in this website you have several departments okay and for example i can look at books okay and they also have handmade items and in handmade items they have stationery and party supplies and all i need to do is just look at them at this is father's day at full bloom here okay i have all of these stationery handmade stuff the people have made it and they're selling it so it's business to consumer electronic commerce this is the catalog with prices okay and this is a shopper uh shopper software that they have used and we talk we're going to talk about that shopping cart software okay and my card is empty right now and i'm, I'm going to talk about this in more detail this is very exciting and in and by the end of this course you should be able to create something similar not like this something similar for your own business okay i'm going to guide you how to do that just hang in there all right so this is the framework described in more detail are you able to look at this 
uh, is it very clear hopefully so what we have here is uh, the electronic commerce applications you have direct marketing search jobs online banking these are the applications of electronic commerce okay you can do e-government for example nowadays you can get your driver's license renewed online okay i can show you many many websites in which you just have to go in there and you have to you can get your driver's license renewed okay these are government websites uh, id card renewal they just ask you for certain documents if you're able to scan them and provide them and they just have to verify them and then once you verify they just send you your card in mail that's a very good example or an application of electronic commerce so yeah, as what i'm trying to explain here is how electronic commerce has invaded our lives how it is helping us perform better okay how it is making the existing systems more efficient existing systems okay existing infrastructures have become more efficient with aid of electronic commerce okay uh, we have e-purchasing which is kind of, you know uh, e-tailing same thing then we have uh, what do we have here b2b exchanges okay we talked about that some businesses they have a symbiotic relationship in which you help them out and they help you in return okay i can think of many such businesses for example table and chair manufacturing company okay and uh, there is a table and chair furniture manufacturing office supply manufacturing company and then there is this <coughs> software development company so the software development company is going to seek services of this office uh, furniture supply company the office furniture supply company will provide the software company with their necessary you know uh, uh, tables and chairs and uh, units and cubicles and everything they would provide in at a very you know at a very subs subsidized or reduced cost and it, in return these software development company would create a nice uh, front-end website a back-end uh, you know a back-end um, electronic interchange for the stock uh, you know the back back end of the electronic commerce website they would create both the both front and the back back end of the website and then they would provide all of these services of maintaining and support at a reduced cost so these are called b2b exchanges it's it's in layman terms you scratch my back i scratch your back that's that's basically what that means okay then you have c commerce that's uh, catalog based commerce we're going to talk about that in more detail another uh, it, we have the social commerce as well okay uh, the craigslist that we visited it's a social commerce society at large is participating to improve market okay uh, another uh, something similar we have yes here okay i can just go directly to craigslist and you can see that the entire society is participating in services okay you have jobs available here you can look for jobs you have housing you have communities okay ride shares how interesting is that that's carpooling gigs services beauty services pet services marine services so this is called social commerce okay I can explain I cannot explain any better than this what social commerce is okay so you have these fantastic ideas in front of you and uh, the applications of electronic commerce and then you have e-learning okay I showed this website to you where I was a student where it go okay no worries I'll just open it up again and I have another e-learning site here Virginia Tech okay this is my VT. I can log in there. There are a lot of security issues. This is my intranet for Virginia Tech. Okay. And I have what it's going to do is it's going to send me a push. Okay. And which means that if I hit this button on my mobile phone, I will get a code. Okay. And then I will enter the passcode this is how secure 
electronic commerce applications have become this is something fairly new i'm sharing this with you because we no longer you know the other one that i showed you the north central i just used my passport and i entered the website this one here the virginia tech what i need to do is i need to i have registered here as a two-factor this is another app safety security application and each time i enter here it sends me on hitting this button it sends me a four digit code now that four digit code is only delivered in my mobile phone okay my cell phone and i just need to enter those combinations in this website and this page here and then it will be it will remember me for seven days after seven days it's going to ask me to send another notification to the mobile okay and that's internet that's e-learning applications have become that sophisticated then you have m commerce which is mobile commerce mobile commerce is have you ever received any kind of uh, uh, reminders from your uh, phone service providers that there is a sale through your phone service providers for example your famous department store sends you a message that hurry there is a sale going on five days left and then you know the last day these messages this is all mobile commerce then you have auctions we're going to talk about that big big you know uh, sales and big auction takes place online i'll show that i'll, I'll show you websites travel imagine imagine how how traveling has changed if you look at this website here booking.com okay booking.com and i you just need to have an account here and what it's going to do is oh i'm i'm already logged in hi zubia okay and it's going to give me the best deals out there okay which means that check out how it's greeting me great to see you again Zubia to say thanks for coming back here are our best deals new deals listed everywhere every day okay so these are the best deals available out there I mean is there any way I would have idea for all of these things unless and until I have to explicitly go out of my way to look for these traveling deals I would have to sift through newspapers newspaper ads you know go to travel agents physical travel agents i'd have to go uh go to different airline offices and then check out what deals they have and they're very very expensive but if you go through sites like booking.com what happens is what happens they give you an entire package in which they take care of your flying tickets they take care of the destination tickets for example any kind of theme park they would take care of that and they would include a hotel as well as rental car facilities all of this collaborated and you know consolidated through a single service booking.com this is thanks to electronic commerce okay so travel has changed then you have online publishing we'll talk about that as well you know ebooks are everywhere and you can there are many software available that will just you know show you a wizard you just need to put in your information in the right place and viola you have your own book up there consumer services okay the many consumer services help desks and uh, many services 911 is one of them for example police services there are online hotline help as well okay so collaboration 2.0 that is the for example if you've ever used blackboard that's a learning management system if you've ever used blackboard it has collaboration systems in which people can text each other their discussion board systems and many other systems available and all of these applications are only possible through people public policy marketing and advertisement support services business partnerships so this is an entire infrastructure for management all of these factors you have to study really carefully and when you create this is like a bird's eye view this is what an electronic commerce looks like from at a glance okay 
any kind except for applications one of these would be highlighted one or two would be highlighted but these would remain the same pretty much everywhere you would have buyers sellers intermediaries services internet service provider people management you would have taxes in public policy legal pri privacy issues regulations compliance technical standards then you would have market research promotions web content and targeted marketing okay many other things here support services like auto fulfillment logistics payments content and security system and development i'm going to show you example for every single one of these okay as a consumer and as a general researcher i would show you many many examples that fit into all of these okay just hang in there upcoming videos you would have you would see a lot of examples business partnerships affiliate programs joint ventures this is very important exchanges e marketplaces and consortia support services include common business service infrastructure security smart cards authentication electronic payments directories catalogs hardware peripherals messaging and information distribution infrastructure electronic digital interface email, email hypertext transfer protocol chat rooms web 2.0 you must have heard about all of these things they all come into play in an electronic commerce website business multimedia content network publishing infrastructure html java xml vrml network infrastructure telecommunication cable tv wireless internet wan wan lan internet extranet access Wi-Fi, WiMAX, cell phones, interfacing infrastructure with databases, business partnerships, applications, web services, and ERP. Very important. We're going to talk about that. Okay, just hang it there. Let's talk about all of these in detail in the upcoming video. See you soon.